Good afternoon. We are um, it's a Sunday afternoon and we're back in Poldua village and uh, we wanted to come and show you uh, this particular property here. It's uh, one of the houses that belongs to one of the students that we are uh, that we've organized some sponsorship for. Um, we wanted to mention that when you see in the ceremony video you'll see 250 children that are immaculately turned out in white and that gives the impression of abundance and affluence. But in fact one of the values in Sri Lanka, one of the highest values here is on education. So no matter what your standard of living is, all your family and all your children turn up to Sunday school and they're immaculately white. When we have a look at this house you'll see that how they are really living. So this is why we want to bring more awareness to this village, to some of the children and also some of the families. So follow me Mr Ben and we will have a look upstairs. Nice to meet you. Thank you for letting us come and see your house. So, uh, Sashini Hasliger is uh, Emma Excel, one of the children Emma Excel is sponsoring. She's sponsoring. Why we've come here to film is just so we can show some foreigners at home exactly some of the living conditions uh, so that we can bring more awareness uh, to the village and uh, see if we can help a little bit more. So, you want to just translate what I just said yeah, yeah, behind? So how many people are living in this house, Kusala? Uh, our aim here is to, obviously, we need to justify to our potential sponsors exactly how the selection process takes place. Uh, the Reverend Monk and Kusala know all these families very, very well and they will come around and they will select uh, the children based on financial uh, challenges and status but also on their educational potential. We're literally looking at two small rooms with a roof and then a third of the house with no roof and no windows. Um, do we have electricity supply here? Yeah, we have one electricity supply. Okay. <laughs> So here's going to be like a living room. You can see this is our this is our lounge here. So when it's raining, basically a lot of the water is coming inside. They must have had a big big problem with the floods. Okay, so this is the, the living room here, and here going to be uh, one of the, a spare bedroom. Yes, sir. Probably Shashini's room when it's finished. <laughs> you know. You think of all our children back in the UK and all over the world, we are, we are so blessed. We've got all our own bedrooms and uh, often in Sri Lanka you have a, the whole family living in one room until these rooms can be finalised. Okay. So you're going to have a... Okay. So this is the bedroom. Okay, Mr. Ben, have you got enough light in there? Is there light? Okay, just have a little go in there, mate. Okay. So th th three people sleeping in this room, Kusala? Okay, cool. And no floor, there's just a, a rough rock floor. Okay, thank you. And inside here is going to be eating area. Okay. And here, kitchen. Here we are, all open. So again, real challenges when it's raining here. Basically what we do is we're collecting, collecting rainwater is coming off the roof and is going in here. So this is used for washing up and maybe some bathing or something like that. Um, could you ask Mrs. Hanseka what, what is her husband doing? He's a lorry driver. Okay, a lorry driver. And would she mind to share with us maybe what his salary is in one month? Some days working, some, some days. So, what is day salary for your husband? Five hundred. And on average, working half month or quarter month or part fifty percent working or how often? Sometimes he 
you haven't worked it in one month, two one month, month, like two months not working. Yet. Okay, so basically what we have is a job with a, a lot of uncertainty. Sometimes day salary is about four dollars fifty a day. And I'm told that Mr. Hansika is sometimes not working for one or two months because there isn't any work available here. So you can see that is not a lot of money to bring a family up on, let alone to feed and to start to have some decent living conditions. Um, so this is why, you know, once again we emphasize the importance of the contribution that the sponsors are making for one month. See, normally, you, you would not be able to afford private classes because the money there's no money to pay for private classes. Now we have some sponsorship coming to pay for private classes. It's a very basic living conditions here. So this illustrates once again the kind of children we're targeting with Smile on Sri Lanka are these from these kind of environments. So your contribution each month for private tuition classes is going to go a long way to changing and improving the life of this family for not just this generation, but also for future generations. We're following our head teacher now. We've asked her to take us to another home of one of the other children that we sponsored. We to go and see some other housing. I actually, it's a massive wake up call, even at having been in this village for a very long time. Off the main street, the houses are you know, very, very basic. Hey! Hey, yeah, this is great. Hey! Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Come and say hello. Come and say hello. Hello, you sir. Hey. So, this is your name, Tirindu. Hello. Yes, your name, Tirindu. My name is Tirindu. Yes. Tirindu. Now, Mr. Tirindu is also one of the children that we've got sponsored here. So, how are you, Kohamada? Monday. Today, Sunday school going. Yes. Yes, good. Good. Last Sunday, good. Okay. Yeah. You have your certificate. Yes. You have good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Hey. It's a rush hour. Paul, do we going to wait for the tuk to come. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, hey, we're at another house in Paul, Dua. This is the house of uh, Ameshi, also one of the children that has been sponsored by Smile on Sri Lanka. We just wanted to show you uh, where she lives. You can see also the living conditions here. There's a lot of love in this family and they've got a lot of important things in life but the living conditions here are challenging to say the least. I just wanted you to come up. together, three or four? Yes, three children. Father and mother. And where is father today? He's laboring. So he's working today, laboring? Laboring in such a yeah. some building site and... Yeah. Okay, and may I ask please what is his salary each day? So 600 rupees a day, he's feeding all this family and keeping... Uh, they have electricity here? No, no electricity. We've got a, a traditional old style Sri Lankan home with mud uh, walls and bamboo. So this is one house, all living, sleeping, everything in one room. Can we come in very quickly? Mr. Ben, you just have a little look in here. Go inside. Thank you, Bomster T. In the West and in the UK, when we need to do up our house or we have something that we need to make an alteration in our house, we normally go to the bank and we can get a loan. And we'll probably get 7 8% if we're lucky, uh, repayment loan. In Sri Lanka, you cannot get a loan from the bank for probably under 25% interest and their rejection rate is huge. They don't lend money. The other alternative is that the banks, there's local village banks that you can borrow from here. They charge 10% interest a month. If you work that out, I'm no mathematician, but it's about 120% interest a year. And some villages have made the mistake of doing that, thinking that they're gonna get work and so on, but it hasn't happened. So houses like this, they take forever to get up to where they need to be. So I just want to share that with you. <laughs>